Now here's the contemporary Wayne Shakespeare and Schuster version of Macbeth. we were two undercover cops, and our assignment was to go to Glom's castle and find out who killed Duncan, King of Scotland. So, this is where the murder took place. Look. Well, well, well. The guy that did this certainly knew what he was doing. You mean the murderer? No, the artist. <laughs> Look, he even signed his name. How about that? It's a genuine McTavish. Make way for Macbeth, the thane of Glom. A drum, a drum. Macbeth, duck come. All right, what are you two guys doing in my castle? Dunson and P.D. Oh, detectives. It's about time you got here. Lammermoor, McPhee. We're investigating the Duncan murder. You don't have to. The case is solved. Oh? Uh -huh. I got the two guys that did it. Can we ask them a few questions? Sure. But you won't get any answers. How come? I killed them. <laughs> what do you mean you killed them? Well, they were supposed to be protecting the king, so I knocked them off. He wasn't kidding. The handwriting was on the floor. <laughs> hey, another genuine McTavish. <laughs> yeah, a few more murders, and this guy can have a one-man show. <laughs> Macbeth worried us. We didn't buy any of his answers. It was time to talk with our snitches, the three witches. They hung out at a little nightclub in downtown Dunsinane at the corner of Firth and Fourth. <laughs> Excuse me, you secret black and midnight hags. Yes? Lammermore? McPhee. Mind if we sit down? Oh, we delighted to see the fun. <laughs> You had a permit for that nose? <laughs> Care to join us in a snack? <coughs> What's in there? I am mute toe of frog. A wool of bat, tongue of dog, banners, <laughs> fork of blind worm, steam. This is vague and hollet sweet. <laughs> what do you recommend with this? Red or white wine? <laughs> Just a minute, ladies. Did you tell Macbeth that he would be king? Yes, we did. We told him he would be king. And it happened. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. What are you talking about? Don't you smell a rat? No, I think it's this stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, they tell Macbeth he's going to be king, so he makes it all come true by making the hit on Duncan. I also told Macbeth that he'd be killed by no man born of woman. Are you talking in vitro fertilization? <laughs> They told us plenty. Banquo was next on the hit list. And a surprise, Lady Macbeth was the brains behind all the murders. She was Mrs. Big. Well, I guess it's time to move in, Lammermore. Right. What do you say we visit the Macbeth and rattle a few cages? Yeah. We'll go up to Glom's castle and kick kill. <laughs> it was time to head back to Glom's castle to confront Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. One look at her, and we knew she was in a foul mood. What are you two lowlanders doing here? <laughs> Homicide. We'd like to ask you and your husband a few questions. Haven't you couples got anything better to do than to harass the royal couple? We're just doing our job, ma'am. Wait right here. <laughs> and don't go near the buffet. <laughs> One look at Macbeth, and we could see he was ready to crack. And then it happened. He imagined he saw the ghost of Banquo sitting there. It's Banquo! Where? In my chair, don't you see him? Did you see that? No. Neither did I. Stop acting like a king. Sit down. Still, yes, dear. This time, he really freaked out. <sighs> Well, we had the goods on Macbeth, but there was another suspect, Lady Macbeth. Wait a minute. Somebody's coming. 
Quick, behind that curtain. Curtain? Are you kidding? That's how baloney has got. <laughs> Look. It's Lady Macbeth. Let's put the cups on her. Right. Here's the smell of blood still. All the perfumes in Arabia cannot sweeten this little hand. All right, Lady Macbeth, you're under arrest. We're taking you in on a 627. What's that? Overacting. <laughs> it was time to go back to headquarters and update the chief. Well, I guess you two must be feeling pretty good, huh? Well, we busted Lady Macbeth. Accessory murder one. And what about Macbeth? 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 Haven't you heard? He's gone wild. He's just wiped out Macduff's family. What a body count. Yeah, Duncan, the two servants, Banquo, and now Macduff's family. You know what I think? What? He's put out a contract on Scotland. <laughs> While you two are wasting your time here, he's raised an army and he's going to finish the job. Unless you stop him. We'll need backup. You got it. Hey, where do we go? Burnham Wood. Move it. So following the chief's orders, we disguised ourselves as trees. However, by the time we arrived, the battle was over. We won! Okay, police, this is a bust. What's going on? It's all right, officer. Macbeth is dead. And Malcolm, son of Duncan, is the new king! Well, Lama Moore, that wraps everything up. Let's go back and do the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it. What's the matter? There's somebody behind that tree. Cover me. All right, you! Oh, oh, okay, oh, come oh, on! Oh, oh, oh. Come against that tree. Who's read him? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? That's my folio. And just who are you? Uh, my name is Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, and I'm a playwright. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I thought what has actually happened to Macbeth could be turned into a great play. Hey, look, when you, when you finish this play, I, I got a great title for you. Oh? Well, there's all these murders and terrible things happen, but in the end, it works out okay. So why don't you call it... All's well that ends well. No, I got a better title for you. This whole thing wouldn't have happened if he hadn't listened to those three crazy witches and his wife would have kept her big mouth shut. See, it's all a series of foolish mistakes. So why not call it a comedy of errors? <laughs> well, I actually already have the title. I'm simply going to call it Macbeth. Macbeth? <laughs> You like it. <laughs>